Is this game mode a scam? We're about to find out as Dungeon Smasher continues to divide opinion across WWE Supercard as one of the three new modes in Dungeons and Drop Kicks. We're gonna start this video off by getting an incredibly overpowered card in the best there is, the best there was, and the best there might be. There we go, Heroic Breath, the Hitman Heart, and when he's proed, he's gonna be insanely overpowered. But that's in another week, what about now? Well, there just so happens to be another card that's just as powerful, but is only available in one place, and that is Dungeon Smasher. And this is a bit of a controversial one. This mode was originally Tomb Smasher and hasn't been seen since season nine. Well, that's now been repurposed and released as part of Dungeons and Drop Kicks and is the home of that one Triple H. Should we just refer to him as the Skull King Triple H? My goodness, that card is awesome. To get him though, you have to be very lucky or spend a couple of credits. And when I say a couple, I mean quite a bit. And the mode's got a bit of backlash since releasing, so we're gonna find out why. Whilst trying to get a Triple H ourselves, that'd be very nice. But one thing I can say for certain is we have a new Inferno card incoming. I've got my rarity pull active. So I'd like to know from you, how have you got on with Dungeon Smasher and how have you done in your free go? What kind of rewards are you getting? Are you getting lucky enough to grab a Triple H? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you find the secret word I've hidden within this video, then I will give you a heart for doing so. It looks like this and it's just for people like you. Yeah, you and you, Clive, and you, Keith. Maybe not you. Yeah? Okay, you. You too. Let's get this pull then, because it's not going to wait for me. Johnny Gargano, Austin Theory, Dakota Kai. Come on, baby. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Come on. Give it to me. Drew McIntyre. That's not it. Here we go. Inferno pull. It's Umberto. Sorry, not Umberto. It's just Umberto now. Just Berto. Berto, 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 Berto. I'm not sure if this is a pro or a single. It's a single. Awesome. But at this point in the tier, it doesn't matter what card it is. I'm just happy to have one. Now, before we get into the video, I just need to do a quick check. Do you breathe oxygen? And if you do, then hit that thumbs up. Because if you don't, then wow, that's that's kind of problematic. But I'd like to know. We do an oxygen check. I want everyone to thumbs up if you breathe oxygen. That's an old one. Brought back for a one-off special. You're welcome. We've also got guides for everything else, dungeons and drop kicks related. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. So let's get to it. Is getting this Triple H Skull King card a dungeon smash or a dungeon scam? Let's see. This is a definite credit eater. If you've never seen Toon Smasher before, and this thing can go either one or two ways. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be sh 20% for the 20 point reward pack. Okay, and the, oh, the Triple H Skull King helmet. Damn! So you can absolutely smash this. Let's give it a go. Dungeon Smasher. Are we first of all are gonna go for the, uh, that's the green. Okay, okay, we've got the blues. Another yellow. Let's go. Rarity draft picks. We like to see that. Do you need to avoid the mimics, which are the chests that have got the tongue and the teeth? So I'm gonna go with the yellow. Ooh. Boo. You found a mimic. If you find another, you lose. Would you like to spend credits to remove this mimic? We're going to remove it. 50 credits, but it goes up every time you do it. There's a green. We're going to go for another green here. Ooh, another mimic. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. 100 credits this time. Damn, I am finding all of the mimics. That is not good. Let's go to the, the top right hand side. Hey, that's a green. I'm not going to follow the trend. Okay, here's your reward so far, but be careful if you find two mimics before claiming, you'll lose it all. So you got the bronze packs. I've got the two swords and the variety draft picks. Let's go to the bottom right hand side. Okay, we get a mimic again. How many credits is this going to be? Oh, I told you it's a, it's a credit, Hoover. Go for the middle. We get a green. Another green. We've got a yellow. Okay, so three out of five on the yellows. Any more? Nope. Into the middle. Ah, another mimic. 250 credits this time. Damn. Okay. Oh, another one? I, I, I like the new work, but damn, this is uh, rough. Okay, so green. Any more? Okay, so we know the last two yellows and where they are. That's easy. That's number one. And here is number two. Two. I'm supposed to avoid. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid the mimics. <sighs> 400. Damn, we are spending 2,000 of credits at the moment. Woo -wee. Okay, we got a blue there. Nice. Any others? We need two more blues, and there's a lot of blues, but only three more greens. 
Okay, we got a green. We're gonna get a blue with this one as well. No? Okay. I'm gonna go top right in the corner. Nope. Mimic. Boo! This is how not to play Dungeon Smasher. Yes, uh, I, I agree. Another mi- there we go, that's another green. We need one more and we've got two spaces. And there we go. So now we just need to find two more blues. I'm gonna go for this one here. Another mimic. This is the game expensive. Okay, we got blue. Middle. 650. Ow. Top right hand side. Hey, there we go. Then I have to go for the last pack. We get Dungeon Smasher. Victory is yours, says Roman Reigns. Do we get Triple H though? All the pieces of equipment. We will find out. Dungeon Smasher. No. <laughs> Boo this man. We do get 10 sword tokens. Okay, and we get the, the extra sword tokens there. Even more and two rarity draft picks. Woo! That was like 4,000, 500,000 credits. Back to Dungeon Smasher, I guess. 750 isn't a bad entry point. I wouldn't go for it unless you really need it. There's a blue to start off with, which is not great blue and a green there. Ooh, that's rough. Bomb left hand side of a mimic immediately. Right, the corners are not my friend. Three mimics in a row. Are you actually taking the? Okay, well, we've got a couple here that we can go for, which are definitely safe. We've got a two times multiplier for the swords. Couple of definitely safe ones here. Another yellow for another two times sword pack. We've got the green there. Not going to claim that. Okay. And then we're going to go to the bottom right hand side. Another blue. Let's go. Right. This one's a little bit better. Okay. So we've got three of the yellows. You got you buy blue. Now, there's a mimic. Boo. 200. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five for the, the yellows. Ah, this one's going to be a rough one. It's going to be a rough one. Hey, we got the yellows. Let's go. Going to go for hopefully another green. Nope. That is a mimic. If I am doing this wrong and you guys know a different way, please tell me. Me. Rip. Mm, green? Nope. Bruh. I know a secret way. Don't play it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way you could avoid this problem is, is just don't. And Lindy earlier on got one for free using her free go. Blue at the top. Okay, we got a blue. There we go. So we've got all the blues. We now need to focus on the greens. And there's four left. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Five left. 550 credits though. Okay, that's one. This one. Perfect. Let's go for the middle. Of course, every green chest has to be opened. And then we get the final green. And we're done. All five yellows. Victory is yours. I don't bloody feel like it. Last pack. Is it Triple H? Is a Summer Slam? <coughs> stacks. You're, you're going to give me a, a stacks. Okay. okay. Looks like I've got stacks of trash. All I want to do is get Triple H back. Well, you got to do this to me. Right, next one of Dungeon Smasher. And the next one. Okay, so we've got two sets. Oh, got gold. Got the gold sucker. Any more? Any more? Okay, we got green. Another green over here. Okay. I don't want to claim claim that yet. This one could be a little bit better for me. That'd be wonderful. I'm getting my ass chewed. This mode, my guys. This mode. I'm doing this for the science. In case you guys didn't don't understand what I mean there. I'm saying the science. The science is uh, kicking my ass at the moment. 12,000 credits for what exactly? Yeah, there shouldn't be this many, many mimics on the on the board. Oh, shoot here, man. What the hell? The thing is, once you get to a certain point, it's just, yeah. Oh, my God. Three more to get, and I've got four more greens. That's one, two, and three. There we go. At least it didn't cost me any more credits, huh? Victory is yours. Don't bloody feel like it. Let's go. Final pack. <laughs> this is a big old smash and grab from Cat Daddy here. There we go. Reset. Uh... Role model. It's a pro. It's a, to my first two pros for the brand new Inferno rarity are the women's. Love it. 26,000 credits though, man. Jesus. This is the fourth pack. I'm, I'm just hoping at this point. What the f is this piece of sh Are you genuinely taking the Well, this, uh, this, this mode is, uh, bullshit. I'm not just pissed. I'm infuriated. This is bull. Oh, guys and girls, we did it. We got one. It only took five packs, but the game, the king of kings is ours. But at what cost? Gomorrah is right with the question. How much did it cost?
everything. It is brand new. It is crazy. It is over the top. It costs way too much. At least in the previous version, you had these like, extra packs you might have been able to get from. This one is pure unadulterated, screwed up. Let's just say, be glad that you haven't done it. And I've suffered. I've, I've done the science and the science is bullshit. But for science, we'll do one more to see if we get the pro. We might get the pro, we might not. It's unlikely. We can try though. Right, better luck next time. What are you talking about better luck next time? What are you talking about, Willis? Oh my God, really? 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 Are you kidding me? I just did 30,000 credits for one Triple H card. It's a single dingle. Ladies and gentlemen, find a cup, put my face on it because I'm a mug. In short, don't bother. Unless you want to lose a big old savings account you've got because that costs about $160, 160 pounds worth of credits. Thankfully, most of that came from an offer wall. So I'm okay. Let's see if we get better luck with this new initiative set of packs which include two cards one is a brand new roman reigns the second one is a jade cargill 15 percent, but the cost is pretty big what do you think though mr ski ski i think you're gonna get nothing okay let's go this one yes we got one Oh, Roman! Woohoo! Baby! Yeah! Let's go! It is the OTC. Love it. Now, can we get the pro Roman? That is the question. What'd you say? No. No? That's no. simple answer. Okay, second one. Let's go. Bang! Nope. Pro Roman was, was bad. Ah, uh, that's Roman. What a maneuver. Indeed, that's what I say. What a, what a goddamn maneuver. He's nowhere like near it. as powerful as Triple H, I'll tell you that much. Oh, we. We are going to get a Roman pro, though. That's, that's a good thing. Yield. Throne Hunter to get the pro for Roman. 15 shards. And that is a pro Roman Reigns. Thank you very much. That cost me so much less than doing Dungeon Smasher. So yeah, if you're gonna spend credits, do it on this. Don't do it on Dungeon Smasher. Even if, I mean, Cody's pretty ridiculous. He is crazy, crazy. But Triple H is also just as crazy. I just hope they've got another mode that works for that. Let's get the pro of Roman. Let's go. That's pretty damn cool though. I love it. And we've got our other pros. We've got Bailey, which gives us second pro, number two. I'm gonna lock that in in a second. And then we got Bianca Beleg. And there we are. B-E-A, beautiful. Now I will admit I did go and grab myself another one. No, 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 two Triple H's from Dungeon Smasher. I've learned a little bit more about the mode and come to the conclusion that you need to avoid going for the yellow bonus lock. Those don't really benefit the rewards all that much. They get you sword tokens, which to be honest, you can find throughout the game. Like seriously, just play tag team takedown if you want to do that. Also, the yellow pieces show up in the blue sometimes. So that makes it almost a no brainer. Don't focus on the yellows when you do your free plays. Focus on the green and the blue locks and you might just get yourself a little bit further. And that was how I was able to get the pro and the F1. It's also worth mentioning because we did go and grab ourselves Roman Reigns that we will be doing a throne hunter guide of how to get yourself all the way to Cody Rhodes and hopefully get yourself a free one. That'll be coming real soon. But let's find out just how powerful this Triple H is. We know he's the best card out of all of the big ones, the Roman Reigns, Jade Cargill, plus the new Game Master Xavier Woods. He is still the king of kings. So let's see how much power this man has. We're going to say goodbye to Bubba Ray Dudley. Skull King, Triple H, show damn he's big and bulky and beautiful. Those are some heavy stats. So compared to an F3 Damien Priest who does have his equipment on and isn't fully leveled yet, he only comes up just short of his stats, which is pretty crazy. But then you've got to add the Fortify. Now I could add this second one on. I'm going to hold off just for the time being and see if we can grab ourselves another Triple H. But that may take a while because after what you just saw, I'm kind of shy to put any other credits into it. But this does put it into perspective that you can easily get yourself a Damien Priest F3 and that's completely free of charge. That will be likely way more powerful than this Triple H card is at the moment. 
hits. But even then, with his charisma, he still whoops Damien Priest in that without even blinking. And you need five Damien Priest cards to even come close to beating him. So whilst this card technically does do very well against him, if you're lucky enough to get him, he walks the floor with everything else. Maybe except for Bret Hart. But that'll be in like a week's time where hopefully we'll see more of these in the wild to see just how powerful he gets. If anyone's crazy enough to spend that many credits. I can tell you, it's not going to be me. Next video though is all about Throne Hunter. So if you haven't already done it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like if you breathe oxygen, and then go to this video up here to see my freebies and how I managed to get 14, yes, 14 Inferno cards in 13 minutes. Or down here to see the most recent video on the channel. I'll see you in the next one. JB, out.